Thank you all. I, I'd like to update you on the state shelter that is on Cherry Street that has been operating since last Friday and share my perspective on it and, and uh, some reactions to the state's plans going forward. Um, first of all, um, from my perspective, this has been a very rushed, poorly planned and poorly executed effort. The, there was less than um, a week's worth of advance notice to the communities that were going to host these shelters. The, they are being operated in a way that does not meet the basic needs of the people that are staying in these shelters. Um, there's been very poor communication to the people that could have benefited from them. And despite all of that, for the last two nights in Burlington, there have been more than 25 people sleeping in those shelters for each of those nights. In addition, we have seen a proliferation of tents um, since the closing of the adverse weather condition program last Friday. And in addition to that, we know that last summer and last fall, we experienced unprecedented levels of unsheltered homelessness in Burlington and in other parts of the state. There's no reason to believe that the forces that were driving that unprecedented level of homelessness last summer have been addressed. There is no reason to think that without state action, there will not be a repeat of the unacceptable conditions that we saw last summer in which unnecessarily dozens and dozens, uh, really hundreds of Vermonters suffered and where we saw downtowns across the state very negatively impacted um, by the lack of a plan to provide shelter. <clears throat> From my perspective, given all of that history, given what we just went through last summer and fall, given with what we are seeing since the end of the adverse weather condition program last Friday, it would be a policy failure, it would be a moral failure, and it would be an economic failure for the state to go forward with their plan to close the Cherry Street shelter on Friday. They told us yesterday, they communicated to my team yesterday that that is their plan to do that. I have, as of yet, had no communications from the state to suggest they're going to plan to do anything otherwise from what they said they were going to do when they started this program last Friday, which is to end it after seven days. Um, the city stands ready, as we always have, to work with the state to find a better outcome and to secure a better outcome. Um, we have always been one of the best partners that the Agency of Human Services has in trying to keep people sheltered. We have a special assistant to end homelessness and we have, uh, uh, we have targeted local funding to work with the state to provide shelter. Um, at a time when we have less than a 1% vacancy here in Chittenden County, at a time when the social services over, are overwhelmed and the existing shelter capacity is already overwhelmed, again, from my perspective, it would just be an unaccepted and avoidable failure uh, for the state to go forward as it is. This could be addressed. The governor could, on his own, choose a different outcome. The governor has the authority to secure a different outcome than closing the sh shelter on, on Friday, and I'm urging him to do so. If the governor will not do that, I am calling on legislative leaders to enforce, to impose an alternative solution working with the city of Burlington to keep people sheltered and to avoid the unsheltered homelessness that we saw throughout last summer and fall. With that, I'd be happy to take some questions. Do you see this as being a permanent, the Cherry Street shelters staying open permanently? <clears throat> Liam, we need to acknowledge as a community that we are living at a time when we do need more permanent shelter facilities. It is going, there's a lot happening right now that's very exciting. I'm having a press conference tomorrow about the neighborhood code. The state has been taking action. There are more housing units that will come in the years ahead. But permanent housing units are, are years away. Homelessness, first and foremost, is a housing supply problem. We are not gonna have that housing supply for years. Until we have that, what we can do in the short term is build more shelters. Burlington has understood this for years. We have opened three new shelters, two of them that are currently operating since the pandemic started. Um, I, we, I think, Burlington cannot do it alone, however. We need to acknowledge as a state, as a community, that we need more permanent shelter capacity. Is, is the current Cherry Street facility 
set up the way it is, designed the way it is, resourced the way it is, the right thing to become a permanent shelter? No, if we are going to turn it into a permanent shelter, there will need to be quite a bit of work to staff it differently, to staff it better, to resource it differently. It does not meet the basic needs of people staying there right now. There are no showers being made available to guests. There's no people to store their belongings if they're out during the day. There's no place for people to even store weapons, which many homeless people do feel a need to carry weapons. It is, it is in numerous ways not being managed right. So I'm not calling for making what is there now permanent, but I do, you, you know, for more than a year, I've been saying that, uh, I, well, I guess about a year, I've said that that could be a, an acceptable location, and I stand by that. Right. I just, I'm wondering specifically in this call you're making today, <laughs> yeah. how long are you saying this needs I to think be? it needs to be indefinite until we don't have the, the current levels of unsheltered homelessness. It, it, we should not be closing a facility like this when we are seeing dozens uh, of people unsheltered in this community. We know 193 separate people stayed in the Burlington winter warming shelter between December and March. Um, that is pretty comparable to the, what we have been publishing in reports, some of which you've seen for since last summer, that shows that we have uh, more than 200 people in Chittenden County that are experiencing unsheltered homelessness. If we don't want to see people sleeping in tents outside, if we don't want to see people rough sleeping under awnings on Church Street and Main Street in Burlington and in other Chittenden County communities. We need more shelter capacity. And yes, I think we need to keep something like the Cherry Street uh, facility open until we have built a lot more permanent housing. Do you, uh, do you understand what, what was the strategy behind opening this for one week? You know, what the state said the point of it was, was to provide um, for the first time a step down capacity uh, between the ending of the adverse weather condition program and people having no support whatsoever. Um, when this was announced, you know, a week ago, I voiced deep skepticism that in a week, everybody that was staying at the at this new shelter would, would find housing. Uh, I don't know where they're supposed to go in the, in the current situation when you have almost no vacancy, no shelter capacity, social services are over, overwhelmed. We have a real problem it, and it, it has been durable for years now. We need more shelter capacity to, to deal with it. And I, you know, I, I can't really speak beyond that to what the state's plans and intentions were. I guess do you feel, I mean, if, if the shelter closes on Friday, expect more people will be unsheltered. I mean, does yes. the city have any plan to, I know the winter warming shelter has closed. Like, is there any, is there any more space in the city anywhere for anyone? So the city has strained mightily to respond to the situation. Uh, we have opened three new shelters again since 2020. This is not something that, you know, and I think it's important to remember the historic context here in Vermont. There is an agency of human services which has the authority, resources, federal resources to, a, to address Vermont's social service problems. That is their charge, that is their mission, and municipalities have not historically been called on to serve this role. I have changed that since 2021. I have understood that we had a storm coming here. We created a position for the first time that was uh, called a special assistant to end homelessness. We, um, uh, we have changed various local taxation policies, both on with our our, our housing trust fund taxation, as well as the special charge that is put on short-term rentals so that we have put very well resourced a, our housing trust fund. And we are, the plan is to go to M Monday and get authority for the first time to use that housing trust fund to work on homelessness issues, something that didn't previously exist. So, you know, I think almost uniquely in the entire state, Burlington has set up new facilities and worked on this. We are willing to be a partner in doing that again. But my position for some time now has been the city cannot do this alone. We need a partner in, in the state government to do that. The state has resources and authorities that we do not have. And that is what I'm calling on here. If this, you know, I, I don't think it's really right that if another, uh, another shelter is gonna be open somewhere in Chittenden County, that it would, ha it would happen in Burlington. We have heard rumors throughout the, the spring and that the state is planning some kind of non Burlington, Chittenden County facility, but those plans have not materialized in anything. So at this point, um, uh, speaking for myself and you know, having had some consultation with the mayor-elect, 
um, Burlington would be a partner. We can't do it alone, but Burlington would be a partner in the setting up of further shelters. We need the state to be a partner in that. Okay.